Baking a Sicilian pizza in a home oven is a little bit of a challenge. We want a crust that's cooked all the way through with a crispy and airy crumb. The cheese needs to be perfectly melted and have just enough sauce to not make it a mess. Using a 28 ounce dough bowl, evenly press out the dough. Here's my three day dough recipe that I just took out of the fridge. I'll press it out to 13 inches, then transfer it to a 16 by 16 Sicilian pan. Be sure to oil the pan and the top of the dough. After being covered for an hour, we'll stretch to fill the whole pan. Grab it from the middle and stretch the corners. Take your time with this step so there's no thin spots. Now cover and let it sit for four hours. For the sauce, I'll mash up garlic and salt until it becomes a paste. Now add fresh basil and mash till it looks like a pesto. Bring together with extra virgin olive oil and add it to milled plum tomatoes. After four hours, I'll gently pull off the plastic and dimple the dough. Parbake the crust at 550 with the baking steel blocking the heat from the bottom. After six minutes, the crust should slide out of the pan with no color on the bottom. Now cool on a rack and re-oil the pan. To build the pizza, start with a light base of shredded mozzarella, then a heavy sprinkle of pecorino cheese. Lay down fresh mozzarella, leaving an inch between each slice. The sauce I like to add in small dollops, making sure every bite has a little. The oven setup is the same and I'll start the cooking on the top rack. After 5 minutes, place on the baking steel to brown the bottom. After 5 minutes on the baking steel, finish on broil for the last minute. And that's exactly what I mean when I say an even bake. Rest on a rack, cut in 9 pieces, and finish with fresh basil. If you follow these steps, your pizza should be cooked perfect every time. Getting that nice clean bite is very satisfying.